why bother getting the COVID vaccine if you can still get COVID? I mean, why even bother getting the vaccine? You can still get it, right? Well, guys, this is a question a lot of you guys have been asking me. You've been writing in the comments and see, I listen, I read. Um, I am going to answer that very question today. It's a very good question because, of course, we are hearing about, um, you know, a small number, but some cases of what we call breakthrough infections. That's people who have gotten the vaccine that are getting COVID. So why still get the COVID vaccine? If you can still get COVID, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cardell, a practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Okay, let me jump right in. Let me tell you, first of all, why it's possible to get COVID even though uh, you've gotten the vaccine. Then I'll tell you why you still want to get the vaccine. Number one, um, nothing is 100%. There is no vaccine that's 100%. With all the other vaccines we have, flu, measles, mumps, and rubella, others, you can actually still get those infections, although it's a small percentage, a very, very small percentage of the population who will. It is still possible to get the disease. Why? Because, well, nothing generally in life is 100%, but certainly not vaccines. Now, these vaccines that we have are very effective, into the 90s at Pfizer and Moderna. Um, so they are super, super, super uh, effective, but they're not 100%. Because, well, no vaccine is 100%. And thus, there are going to be some people who get the vaccine and still get infected. That's just called life. That's just the way it goes um, in health and in medicine, okay? The other thing is that some people, um, even though they get the vaccine, don't necessarily uh, mount an appropriate or robust immune response to the vaccine. Maybe there's something going on with their immune system or something else with their body that even though they get the vaccine, they're just not as protected from it as someone else might be. That happens too, guys. Um, and that's a reason why some people get COVID um, despite getting the vaccine. And the next thing is, okay, why do people get COVID um, sometimes if they've gotten the vaccine? It's because remember, um, it takes about two weeks for the vaccines to become effective in your body, two weeks after the final dose. So you're still technically vulnerable during that period. If you get COVID before, right before your vaccines or after um, in that window, you could still get COVID. Um, and it's not necessarily that there was a problem with the vaccine in that situation. It's simply that, well, you were already infected before um, you received uh, the vaccine. And it takes a little while for that protection from the vaccine to build up in your body. Now, let me remind you that breakthrough cases, or rather the idea of people getting COVID after getting the vaccine is very rare. It doesn't happen often. Now, of course, in the news, we're all like, COVID, schmovid, what's going on? So we're paying attention to everything. So it seems like there's a lot of people getting COVID after the, getting the vaccine. But actually, the relative number of people who are getting COVID after the vaccine is very, very small. And it's right now, it's within the realm of what we would expect. Because again, the vaccine's not 100%. Now, for the kicker. Why should you get the vaccine, even though you technically can still get COVID? Well, the main reason is because if you get the vaccine and you do end up getting COVID, you are less likely to die from it. That's right. You're less likely to be hospitalized or die from COVID. If you're not vaccinated and you get COVID, you get the Delta variant, et cetera, your risk of dying from COVID, of being hospitalized from COVID, of having severe COVID symptoms is much, 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 much greater. If you've had the COVID vaccine and you get COVID, Many people are asymptomatic, meaning they have no symptoms at all, or the symptoms are very mild, like a cold. Well, who can't deal with a cold? Most of us can. Of course, you have to quarantine and all that good stuff, but most of us can, can deal with that. What we can't deal with is dying, is death, is hospitalization, is being on a ventilator. So when you ask yourself and you think about whether you want to be vaccinated or not, whether you want to get your family vaccinated or not, you know, I know there's a lot of arguments that are encouraging people not to get vaccinated. But it really comes down to life or death. And, and let me be clear, there are people who've gotten the COVID vaccine that will get COVID, that will die. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This is, it's called life. Life is not perfect and that's what happens. But the number is, is much, 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 much less than if you don't get the COVID vaccine. This is about risk, guys. This is about statistics. It's about numbers. Do you want your risk to be high of dying, of being hospitalized if you were to get COVID or do you not? That's the question you should ask yourself ask your family and think about. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Please get the COVID vaccine. If you have not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, please do. Um, and guys, I will be back soon with more videos.